What is up? Today is January 12th, 2019. Starting my day off with some egg whites. Watching some e-commerce. Uh, life sucks. Here's what's up. I'm eating egg whites. Which is just gross. I don't like eggs. <clears throat> I'm recording for you guys at the gym. I broke both these legs. Made it like metal. And then just like sheared off. This meal is actually, it's not as good as yesterday and the day before. It's, it's actually a lighter protein meal and everything. Um, I logged my food for protein, carbs, fat. Um, yesterday I had beef fajita. My meal came out to 77 grams just for my breakfast. This one's going to be about 50, 50 something. So, yeah, it's not it's not as good as really plain. I recommend you guys, <coughs> especially if you're really trying to diet, log log your food. I mean, this is a really simple log. Um, I'm just doing protein, carbs, and fats. So each meal, you just add it up. Um, I'm doing the supplements. Also, yesterday came out to 257 grams of protein. And 117 grams of fat, and about 40 grams of carbs, I think, or no, it's 53 grams. Quick math. All right, guys. Yesterday we went and watched. Look at that beautiful sunset. That's beautiful. All right, so. Yesterday I went and watched Mortal Engines and I had my cheat cheat meals. I had, I had two. I I'm only supposed to have one. I'm only supposed to have one cheat meal, but I had two. I had a huge in and out uh, cheat meal is freaking amazing. I'll show you right here. This is too much food, dude. You're gonna get like diabetes. Oh. Drink all the shake. Oh, you wanted some? I wanted a little bit. I wanted some <laughs> from him. <laughs> um, and then I went and had Cheesecake Factory. I didn't record that. Uh, I just had another burger. I had the fried macaroni and cheeseburger with bacon. Actually, no, I didn't have bacon that time. I always get bacon. I didn't get bacon that time. Um, right now, I'm about to go work out, but I'm about to go lift chest. Uh, the Mortal Engines was an alright movie. Um, it had some stupid, a couple stupid political things. I think people should keep politics out of media, or not media, what am I saying? Movies, uh, sports, and music. Unless if the movie's about politics, but it obviously, it wasn't. Um, it was, I mean, overall, it was an okay movie. I'm not really a fan of this whole, like, um, futuristic past thing that was going on. I'm not, I don't know. It's kind of weird. The only thing that's like that that's kind of cool is, like, Fallout. Um, because they're, like, so far advanced, but then they're so far behind. I, I don't like that type of sh stuff. Um. Overall, it's an alright movie. It's kind of weird. The city things were interesting. I mean, they had like it's just about moving cities, and they kind of are rivals with each other, I guess. Um, I've never seen Hunger Games, but my girlfriend said it's kind of like some of the things like Hunger Games a little bit. So if you're into Hunger Games, I recommend you watch it, I guess. But even me, not liking that type of stuff, it was it was a good movie. I recommend watching it, I guess. Um, I'm not going to point out what the stupid political stuff was, because if you're woke enough, um, you'll figure it out for yourself. So, just got the homie's house. Never get nair on your nipples. My nipple can burns. I think. 
sent you the text messages. No, you didn't. I'm like, back door. Yeah. Bro, it's okay. Bro, it's okay. Come here. Some, someone scratched your car, dude. <laughs> well, so when I was taking the, they use like adhesive to put because it's real carbon fiber. Yeah. Like leaves, and when I was taking it, it ripped the housing apart. Or? No, like this is separate compared to this light. It's separate uh -oh. with this, and this light it broke the clamps. Oh. Okay. It was pulling it off. And so I was careful with that one, but it just broke this out. So it's just weak. This is holding it there because I'm afraid that it's going to bounce out. Yeah. I curbed this today. You know how at Rite Aid, I was there buying ibuprofen? Uh-huh. And you know how you can park and then there's like islands in front of you, but you can't see them because like not trees in it? Yeah. So like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Well, I haven't even looked under yet. And then I, I was like up like this. That's from the leaves. When it oh, okay. It's not from the kitty it cat? Holds, it creases and sits back. Okay. It's not from your kitty cat? We moved to that one. Okay, so we're gonna go over today's workout, um, which was a chest day. Uh, right here, we're hitting a warm up on the hammer strength uh, machine. I do three sets of 20 to really get the blood pumping. Really focus on um, the stretch uh, in your chest and. Make sure there's no pain in your shoulders. Uh, before you go about lifting chest, you should always warm up your shoulder, uh, your shoulders, your rotator cuffs, um, sometimes even your triceps, uh, especially if you have tendonitis. I would really think about it. Your set two of the warm up. You always hit three sets of 20 for whatever muscle group we're working. Um, it's really important on the machines to like focus on your positioning and stuff. Kind of sounds kind of weird, but uh, you should always focus on your positioning. And if <laughs> the camera kind of fell down right here, all right, we're gonna start set three of the warm up. Or no, it's a set one of the working set. Okay, so here took my sweatshirt off uh, inside the gym there's no air there's no warming or cooling it's just what it is it's just a shop it's starting to get hot in the gym it's winter right now too but it sounds crazy but uh, two 45s on each side it was really hard <laughs> as you can tell right there because uh, I'm on zero carbs uh, today or that day I should say uh, here we're on set number two of the working set um, I believe it's a 45 a 25 because my friend was on zero carbs and he couldn't lift two 45s on each side so he did a 45 and a 25 it might be 35 but I think it's a 25 and then I I just throw in another 45 outside of that um, for our working sets we usually hit 10 to 12 unless if we're going like really heavy we'll hit 8 to 10 but it's usually 10 to 12 it all seems to be like my perfect my 10 uh, for my body. Everyone's a little different though. Alright, here's set three of the working set. Got a little motivation by uh, my boy Austin's mouth thing. I don't know how to explain that. Yeah, you, s you can tell it's starting to get really heavy here. When you're pushing a lot of weight, make sure you have no joint pain at all. If you do, I would consider warming up your joints of wherever it's at your rotator cuffs or wherever a little leg flex a little dental work all right so here's a hammer strength incline machine I started out with um, a 45 and a 25 and then I threw on a 45 45 and then I uh, threw on three 45s um, this we actually superset in uh, with a Stravo press, I call it Ninja Stars. Uh, he helps me right here. We hit three sets of super set right here. You'll see, it's, I think it's called Stravo press, but I call it Ninja Stars because it looks like you're holding freaking Ninja Stars. But the point of this is to 
you uh, have to uh, squeeze the two plates together. I recommend starting at a lightweight and work your way up. I started out with five, now I'm on ten pounds. Uh, we hit that for three sets back to back. Um, here, I don't know why it didn't record these, all these sets, but uh, we did push-ups off these cinder blocks. It allows you to get that better range of motion. Um, as you can see right there, you get a little better range of motion than just putting your hands on the ground. So. I recommend trying it with that, or maybe dumbbells or something if you can. Um, we at this point our chest is so fried, but these little half reps right there, those really help out a lot. Uh, it just gets a pump. Here's that decline hammer strength machine. Um, started out with 45, and then thrown another 45, and then another 45. Um, it really gets your outer and your lower chest really good. Uh, today's workouts is all isometric, like, um, you know, so you can't, your strong side can't compensate for your weak side. That was the thought behind this chest workout this day. Um, then our last thing, we always say it flies last. The reason why you, uh, we always say it flies last is because all this pressing motion really squeezes your chest together. When you pull it apart like this, it really... Uh, stretches your muscle out, gets the blood in there, just makes it even more sore for the next day, which I like a lot. These you got to be really careful on. Um, on all chest workouts, you have to, but um, you're set to this. We hit this for three sets. But be really careful with your shoulders on these. If you feel pain, probably don't go as far back and start stretching your shoulders and your chest and everything, like, every day. Or every other day, you know, start. You should always incorporate body stretches. It's really important. Um, on these, you really want to focus right on the negative right there, and when you're all the way back, that's the best. That's the main part of the flies, is when your arms are all the way back because you're stretching out your um, chest muscles really good. So make sure when you do flies, you're not just flying. You know, you're not just flapping around. Make sure you're actually focusing on the stretch, and when you come forward like so you focus on the contraction get that really good muscle to mind connection um, here it is last set and we're gonna go back to the video all right yo I'm gonna take a shower really quick then I'll unbox this set it up and then show you what it is you got something nice to say can you say something nice no all right, Sky, you ready to open, open up this box, bro? Okay, so my friend, this is a Christmas gift. My friend Peter got me. <coughs> I was talking about it earlier. Cardboard cutout. Oh, yeah, it's actually a cut, too. Of my dad. Awesome. Awesome, awesome.